What is slow fashion and what does slow fashion offer? How can we make shopping more responsible? Is it possible to transform a piece of clothing and give it a second life? And how can you look fashionable without spending too much? Find out in today's episode. The main idea of slow fashion is quality clothes made from natural and ecological fabrics. If you're going to update your wardrobe, you should think carefully about whether you need a new piece of clothing. Slow fashion stands for a responsible approach to shopping. It's better to have fewer items of clothing that you know will serve you for a long time. Slow fashion supports the idea of eco-production and the return of greater value to clothing. For me, slow fashion is a more responsible, deeper and more focused attitude towards fashion and life. Slow fashion means quality clothing that does not need to be replaced frequently, clothing that you choose for yourself and that suits you. You don't necessarily need to follow trends. Things that relate to slow fashion are designer clothes, vintage clothes, second-hand and refurbished second-hand clothes, cycle fashion, and the fact that we remake used clothes is also very relevant. Today we have huge overproduction of goods in the world, including clothes. Obviously, the development of the fashion industry does not affect the environment in the best way either. Many designers are signing up to the responsible fashion movement. There are world-class designers who promote their clothing and production as eco-friendly and that they're easy to recycle. Such clothes are nice to wear and can be properly recycled without polluting the environment. In Ukraine, as part of Ukrainian Fashion Week, designer Yana Chervinska created the Sustainable Fashion Platform, which brings together representatives from various areas related to fashion, including designers. There are a lot of designers in Ukraine engaged in sustainable fashion, and their collections are covered in top international publications, so I can't say that it's a new trend. It's been around for four to five years, maybe a bit longer. The only problem in Ukraine with eco fashion or sustainable fashion is the lack of raw materials. In spite of certain difficulties with tailoring environmentally friendly clothing, designers that work in the sustainable field still come up with various ways of making eco-friendly clothes. Often lacking the right fabrics, they use improvised materials or even second-hand clothes in their designer works. We've switched to a joint project with Ukrainian designer Yasa Homenko called the Shirt Project, based on the upcycling of clothes. The idea of giving clothes a new life belongs to Natalia Isupova, the owner of a vintage goods thrift store. And Ukrainian designer Yasa Homenko was responsible for prints and cuts. As a result, by using second-hand men's shirts and scraps of fabric, they ended up with stylish new dresses. Unfortunately, the environment suffers due to excessive consumption and disposal of clothes. If you care about this topic, then start with your own wardrobe. There is no point in blindly following fashion trends and filling your wardrobe with the latest trendy clothes every time a new collection comes out. Try to make your wardrobe as eco-friendly as possible. You can ask for help at a vintage clothing store. You're saving nature, you're helping people who overfill their wardrobes, you're helping people to build a smart wardrobe. Natalia Supova had the idea in the early 2000s of creating a thrift store. Back then, girls' wardrobes were full, but they had nothing to wear. At first, friends brought their clothes, asking to sell them, then friends of friends, and so on. At some point, they accumulated so many clothes that they had to start sorting them. 
Ну и, конечно, было интересно заниматься винтажом. Working with vintage clothing was also interesting. Vintage clothes are those that have passed the test of time and exist in a dimension beyond time, some classic looks. So we gradually started making sense of this field and ended up with this vintage-oriented thrift store. Each item in this store has a story of its own. You won't feel the fast pace of fashion here. Customers who can appreciate unique vintage clothes come here. Those people are representatives of a more creative environment related to art, music, cinema and theater. In today's fleet and change of fashion trends, we observe a trend towards more deliberate acquisition of new clothes. But vintage style requires that the person buy and have particular knowledge. Those are older people, those are people who already know their style, who have already found their own image. So they come here to find something that suits their image, because the store is focused on them. But lately, I've been seeing more and more young people come here in search for their style, because they can find something unusual, strange, or something that might interest them in some way. Men are more skeptical about buying second-hand clothes, but there are true vintage enthusiasts even among them. Actually, my target demographic group is men of all ages, 18 to 40, and even women come to us. They can be a family man, a single man, who goes to various events or a TV presenter, so my target audience is very wide. For example, vintage boutiques have existed for a long time abroad. By the way, they are popular even among celebrities. Renting clothes has also long become part of everyday life, which helps thousands of women shine at various events. People travel abroad a lot these days. Accordingly, they see what's going on in the fashion capitals around the world. There, people combine vintage, second-hand and upcycled clothes with brand-name clothes. It all looks great together and worn beautifully. Many Ukrainian celebrities are also supporters of the slow fashion movement. Why not take advantage of vintage stores or evening outfit rentals if you approach this issue responsibly? I occasionally even go to a thrift or second-hand store. I'm not afraid of talking about this. You can also find unique clothes that cost almost nothing and brand-name clothes at flea markets. Quite often we don't even think about what is going to happen to yet another dress we're about to buy after we've got bored of it. Another area of slow fashion is the exchanging of clothes. You can trade in the dress you're bored of at such an event and in return get a wonderful exclusive look. That's also eco-friendly, as we conserve the Earth's natural resources by consuming less. Our project was the initiator of eco-fashion parties. It's a format for popularizing eco-friendliness. We held parties from time to time to which people were supposed to bring clothes and exchange them. Slow fashion does not chase seasonal trends. On the contrary, it helps you to deliberately find and choose your style. Our customers prefer this more relaxed pace, this slow fashion pace, so to speak, because they are in no hurry, they give themselves time to think. Even though you're already buying discounted clothes at thrift stores, there are all types of promotions that will pleasantly surprise you. Actually, the way our store works is that we run promotions all the time because prices for clothes change. But that's the system of a thrift store. Prices fall every month. We also hold large seasonal sales. In our world, large amounts of clothing are produced, bought and used every single day. Lots of clothes just hang in the closet, and it's good if they're worn a couple of times. So what can every single one of us do to at least slightly slow down the process of rapid overproduction of clothing by using the principles of slow fashion? The basic principles of sustainability that I've determined for myself as a designer is not to overproduce. In short, to avoid overproduction, to use zero-waste principles in your company or brand. 
use vintage materials and in so doing reduce the amount of textile waste and try to find organic or eco-friendly materials that will be a good alternative to regular cotton, silk or wool. How can we come up with a look for just one dollar and look stylish and fashionable? Svetlana Fedorenko and her project One Dollar Look showed that this is possible. The photographer has been into vintage fashion for a long time. She was interested in trying to collect some vintage and modern images for a photo shoot. I was very enthusiastic about One Dollar Look because you get excited when you can find clothes that cost less than a dollar and you look so cool wearing them. Naturally, we promote slow fashion through our project. About 30 models are involved in this project. There were not professional models, but personalities from creative professions. They included Alina Haeva, Viktor Kravets, Niko Blomov and others. Some of them are known in creative circles, and at the time they already dressed in this spirit. Accordingly, they were also interested in taking part in something similar. Basically, they also promoted it through themselves, mostly slow fashion. The fact that you can look good, but at the same time you don't need to be rich and have tons of clothes and things like that. The attention of clothing consumers can be attracted to responsible slow fashion through the use of such projects, which creative personalities take part in. For example, under the auspices of One Dollar Look, people can buy or sell clothes for one dollar, and this money can go into recycling fashion in order to develop slow fashion. An expensive, high-quality piece of clothing can be worn for a long time, while consumer market clothes will last just a couple of seasons. It turns out that buying one high-quality piece of clothing is better than several super trendy ones, which is what Boots' theory of socio-economic unfairness basically says. In just a couple of seasons, trends will change, and those clothes will no longer be considered fashionable. High-quality clothes will last longer, and if something happens to them, you can always resue them, as up cycling is very popular now. I think it's what we wanted, so that people would buy clothes responsibly, slowly, because that is responsible. So these clothes will serve them for much longer. You can look good, and you don't need a lot of money for that. You can look good, the main thing you need is the desire. And that's where vintage, secondhand and cycle fashion come to help us. Slow fashion has its advantages. It's better to buy one high-quality piece of clothing than heaps of unnecessary mass-market clothes. In the long run, quality clothes will serve you longer. You can bring clothes that have been gathering dust on the shelves and that you haven't worn in a long time to a second-hand shop. This way you'll free up some space in the closet for new clothes. Buying clothes in thrift stores is perfectly fine and eco-friendly. The easiest way to get rid of old clothes and get new ones is to exchange with a friend. You can also donate clothes to charities. You should only buy clothes when you really like something or when you need it. So even if there won't be a lot of items of clothing in your wardrobe, they'll all be loved.